Hello everyone, this is Professor Patterns here. In this video, we're going to be installing Open Web UI from scratch. Now, I'm going to be assuming that you're a complete beginner. You don't know what a Docker container is or why we need one, and you've never used the command line before. So let's go ahead and get started. First, I'm gonna to go to the Open Web UI website. Now here, if you scroll down, it says quick start with Docker. So what is Docker? Well, Docker is simply an application. So I'm gonna search the web for Docker, click the first link that I see here. Now to use Docker, I'm going to have to download Docker Desktop. So I'm gonna select the one for Windows because I'm on a Windows, but if you're on a Mac, you would just select the one for Mac. There's no difference. So we start off by just unpacking some files. And now that the installation is complete, it says to close and log out. So I'm simply gonna do that. Now, after I restart my computer, this is the first thing that I saw, Docker subscription service agreement. I'm gonna hit accept. And then here it says, welcome to Docker. So I'm gonna just skip this first step and the second step here. So now it is starting to start the Docker engine. So I'm just gonna let us do this thing here. And there we go. So it says containers, view all of your running containers, images, volumes, everything is empty right now. So what should I do? Well, I need to download the container for Open Web UI. So what I'm gonna do is go to my browser and then search for Open Web UI. Now here, I will scroll down to this step, if Olama is on your computer. So I'm gonna simply copy this entire command. I can just click this and there we go. Now to actually run this, what I'm gonna do is open up my command prompt window. Now, if you were on a Mac, this would be your terminal. So now that this is open, I'm simply going to paste that command and leave all of the settings default. I'm not gonna change anything in this code here. After this runs, I'm gonna hit enter. So it says enable to find this image and it started downloading this image to the Docker container. So now that the Docker container has been downloaded, if I go to Docker desktop, you'll see that Open Web UI is gonna show up here. Uh, this green state means that it's currently running. And then if I click this, it's gonna open up Open Web UI on localhost 3000. So it's only using the resources of my computer. It's only running locally. It's not available online or on the internet. This is only on my computer. So here I'm gonna select get started. So now that I've put in some credentials, I'm gonna create an admin account. And here I'm gonna say, okay, let's go. So there we go. This is the Open Web UI interface and I am currently on my admin account. Now, if I click this, you'll see that there are no models that are currently available. And that is because we don't have Olama installed yet. So let's go ahead and do that. So to do that, I'm gonna go to Olama, O-L-L-A-M-A. And here, I'm going to just simply hit download. I'm gonna download the one for Windows. So here, I'm going to hit install. And now that it's installed, it's going to simply say Olama is currently running. So there's no interface, right? It's not an application like Docker containers. All you would see is if you click this, you should see that it is currently running. Now, even though Olama is currently running, it doesn't mean that I have a model. So if I go to my localhost 3000 and select a model, you'll still see that there's no results found. Now to actually install a model, I'm going to first go over to my admin panel. And then here I'm going to select settings, connections. And then here I'm going to select this icon here for manage. Now over here, it says pull a model from olama.com. So to do that, I'm going to go here and I'm going to search for models. So I can click models here. And there's so many different models that are currently available. There's the Llama 3.3. Now notice that if I click this, there are different versions. So for this one, it's only the 70 bill, which is a huge model. I don't wanna have something that large. So let me scroll down. Let me get the Llama 3.2. I'm gonna select the three bill. And to download this, I'm going to highlight the text Llama 3.2, 3B, and copy that. Then I'm going to go to the admin panel. And here, I'm going to simply paste this. And then if I hit download, you'll see that it's going to start downloading this model. And now that the model has been downloaded, I can go here. And then I, you can see that this model has popped up. So now I can ask this model to do anything, like give me some ideas. And there we go. So. This is how we can install Open Web UI through the use of a Docker container. Now we'll see the other way of installing Open Web UI, and that's through pip. So if you go to the Open Web UI homepage, it says that you can have a manual installation. And to do this, you're gonna to need to have a runtime manager like UV or Conda. Let's say that you choose Conda. 
So to download Conda, I'm going to go to Google and just type in download Anaconda. Here, I'm going to select the first link that I see here, and then I'm going to skip the registration and download the one for Windows. If you are on a Mac, you would download the one for your Mac. So it says setup is loading. I'm going to hit next. I agree. Just me. Next. I'm going to add this to the path, even though it says it's not recommended. Install. And there we go. The installation is not complete. I'm going to hit next, next, and don't need to launch the navigator or anything like that. So I'm just going to simply hit finish. So now that it's downloaded, I'm going to open up my command prompt window and I'm going to type in conda info hyphen hyphen ENVS. So that will tell me if there are any virtual environments that are currently on my system. So there are none. So that's great. And what I'm going to do is create a new virtual environment so that I can install open web UI on there. So to do that, I'm going to say conda create name and give it a name open web UI. And then here I'm also going to say that I want, I want it to run Python equals to 3.11. And then I'm going to hit enter. So it's going to start installing Python 3.11. Here I'm going to type in Y and then hit enter. And while this is happening, I can turn off the one that's running on my Docker container. So just to verify that it's currently not running on localhost 3000, if I go to that, it shouldn't show up with anything in, on there. There we go, found an internal error. So let's see if this installed it. Looks like it did. If I hit conda info hyphen hyphen ENVS, we can see that this environment should be now present. So conda activate open web UI. And there we go. Because it says open web UI here, that means that it's running on an isolated environment. So it doesn't matter whatever we do here. If, for example, we install like a bunch of different packages and we start messing things up, we can always just simply delete this virtual environment and call it a day. So here, let's go to open web UI. And it says that we want to open up the terminal and run this command. So I'm going to copy this and type it in here and then hit enter. So pip install open web UI. And now that it's installed, all I would do is just simply type in open hyphen web UI space serve. I should now be able to go to my local host and I think it's on 8,000 if I'm not wrong. Let me oh, check it again. Nope, it looks like it's 8080. So 8080. And there we go, open web UI. So to have this running, I'm gonna have to leave this window open because if I close this window and then refresh this page, you'll see that it's gonna be gone. So I have to open up command prompt again. And then here again, I have to load my conda environment. So conda activate open slash web UI. And then here I have to run open web UI serve. So this is something that you're going to have to do every single time if you're running it through Python. And that is why Docker is going to be the preferred or recommended way of running open web UI. So here again, if I load this, there we go. Open web UI is currently working. And that's pretty much it. Two ways in which we can install OpenWebUI from scratch. That's it for this video. Thank you all for tuning in. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.